Who is handsome, man? You are handsome. Okay, guys. We already know that Nagi is one of the best players in this entire series easily whether it be from the anime or the manga but the thing is he has played for less than a year and we know from facts and from science that a lot of players it is a known fact the earlier you start the better in fact messi and ronaldo are known to have started as early as four years old so my question is how good could Nagi have been if he had started as a kid, if he had started playing football as a child? First thing that I noticed when I was reading the manga and watching the anime is that Nagi is always really, really, really just unmotivated. He doesn't want to do anything most of the time. But the thing is, he even says he doesn't want to do much when he plays football, right? Like there are moments, especially in the beginning of the anime, when in the middle of the game, he can't be bothered to play football, and he just scores because, you know, it's the thing to do. It's the right thing to do. So my first instinct when I started watching the anime and reading the manga was that he wouldn't have, have found the motivation in the first place to become a good player when he was a kid. But of course, that's not really fun. So for today, we're going to assume that he's going to find the motivation as a child because there are instances in the anime, and I mean, that's why he's one of the most popular characters, where he has found motivation. So actually, the fact is, we just don't know. He could have found motivation when he was a kid, and for today, we're just going to assume he has because that, trust me, is going to make all of this very fun. <laughs> So as I said in the beginning, Nagi is essentially one of the best players in this anime and he has consistently scored goals and consistently been useful in every single game we have seen him in. But the thing you need to remember that is very important is that one, he has no prior knowledge of football. He knows absolutely nothing uh, about the famous players, about the techniques. He's just doing all of it by instinct and has no knowledge of anything. The second thing is that he skips training very consistently. He almost never goes to training. And we can see that particularly in the first part of Blue Lock where he tells Rio that he just doesn't want to train. He is too lazy. And the third and most insane thing is that he has absolutely no background as an athlete. Zero. He has nothing. But despite that, he's still one of the best players easily. Not only is he the top scorer for Team V with seven goals, he's also considered a top six player in the second selection by Ego himself. Furthermore, he's also a U-20 starter, meaning he started in a team with players that were already established as some of the best players in the entire anime. And he is currently second in terms of pricing in the Neo Egoist rankings. And the thing is, throughout Blue Lock, there have been situations where his strengths, mostly were, his strengths were extremely obvious, but there have been situations where his weaknesses seemed pretty glaring and obvious too. In terms of his strengths, he has the perfect body for an athlete. It's said in the manga that he is over a meter 90, 190 centimeters. And for comparison, the average NBA player is 198 centimeters. So just about, you know, that much taller. So the dude is almost as tall as a freaking NBA player. And for that size, you'd expect someone who's, you know, maybe a bit bigger, a bit slower, but the dude is lean and extremely athletic and also quite fast. I'm fast as fuck, boy. His second strength, which is very obvious in the anime, is trapping. And what trapping means exactly is that you bring the ball under control when it's either loose, you know, somewhere in the air, or when it's passed to you. And in this case in particular, the dude is so good at trapping that the ball is basically like an extension of his body. And I genuinely cannot think of a better skill you could have as a football player point blank, period. You know what I mean? Next, he is also extremely agile. He can jump 
relatively high, but he can also contort his body in a way that he's going to be able to control the ball exactly as he wants to control it. So it's kind of like a perk that goes with his trapping ability. Something that I feel he's kind of underrated with is passing. Now, granted, he's not great at certain passes. He's very good at giving you passes from loose balls that are in the air, trapping the ball in the air and giving you a pass after that. And passes that are extremely unpredictable. And finally, that's something he's only recently become good at, and that was a weakness previously, but he's become physically very strong. You can see an example of that in one of the Neo Egoist games when he stops two players with his bare hands like two big dudes and then controls the ball so he has become extremely physically strong now for his weaknesses the main one and the most most obvious and glaring one is his football iq he obviously has no knowledge of um of football or anything that concerns football so the thing is he doesn't necessarily know where to be at the right time at any given moment and he doesn't really see everything that a player like isagi might see or understand everything that a player like isagi might understand or for a fact a lot of players in this series his game on the ground is also one of his big weaknesses he's amazing once it concerns the balls that are in the air but once it's on the ground he struggles like crazy uh something that kind of comes with that is his 1v1 ability he's really not great at winning 1v1s when they're on the ground he has won some 1v1s when he controlled the ball in the air and then just shot but in terms of pure 1v1 when you're in front of a guy he's really not great at all let alone 2v1 and finally, in terms of shooting, we've seen him shoot pretty decently, but it's always been relatively close range, and it's always been from a ball that he's trapped in the air. It's He, he doesn't have the ability to shoot unpredictably from any position, from the ground, from far away, from close. He doesn't, he, he has one type of shooting that he usually employs, but he's not a great shooter. In terms of his potential, what he could have been, the problem currently is that his strengths rely mostly on others. They re his strengths rely on relying on others. And that's why when he doesn't play with Isagi or he doesn't play with Rio, he really struggles. And that's been pointed out by Chris Prince in the manga, is that if he needs to create the game by himself, if he needs to play by himself, he's not a great player. He really struggles. But the crazy thing is, is that that weakness of him not being able to play by himself has been not largely, but a little compensated when he started training with Chris Prince, who immediately identified this weakness and has resolved some of it in a very short amount of time, which is crazy because it shows you how good Nagi can become, how quickly he can become better. And even though he has massively improved, Agi, who is like the, the football doctor, I think that's his name, who's really good at analyzing other players, as well as Isagi, who's also quite good at understanding other players, have both noticed the amount of potential this dude still has, even though he has improved so, so freaking much. And both of those things are such good indicators for him because it just shows that if he had started as a kid, he could have become insane. And the thing is, it's kind of widely accepted, as I said before, that the earlier you start to do something, the better, because in your youth, your brain assimilates things much better than when you're an adult. And the older you become, the more you lose this ability to assimilate things. It's kind of like you probably know a language right now that you speak every day and that language was probably taught to you when you were a kid and now you know how to speak it super well, super fluently. And it's kind of like the same thing with football. If someone has started playing football when they were a kid, they would be able to play that sport fluently, if as it were. And let me tell you that if he had worked on his weaknesses as a kid and worked on all the things I've previously said, he would be easily able to rely on himself and all these things that i mentioned the 1v1 the shooting the playing on the ground if he was even average or even very good at these things but better than he is now he would be absolutely unstoppable
unstoppable and wouldn't need players like Ryo or Isagi to help him at all. And honestly, if you were to create a blue lock team right now, it, I, I genuinely think it would be insane not to add him into your custom blue lock team because he is such an incredible player. And that is precisely why I made a video where I, I believe I have currently made the best possible team in blue lock that you can make with any of the players that are given to you.